Hi. Uh, good morning, everyone. I'm John. I'm from Visionary Solutions. So um, today I'm here. I'm gonna talk about um, our Dyson Airblade um, hand dryers. So basically, uh, before that, let me introduce about uh, Visionary Solutions. Uh, we are the uh, sole distributor for Dyson Malaysia. So uh, carry uh, most of their products like the uh, Airblade. Uh, hand dryers, the fan without blades, right? So, uh, of course, the fan and the vacuum is the uh, consumer products, but uh, I'm in charge of the uh, commercial part, which is the, the air blade, right? Okay, uh, before I go um, introducing air blade to you, so I'd like to um, share with you uh, some experience that. Uh, what are we going to use in, when we go into the washroom, right? Uh, it's all related to green at the end of the day. Okay, uh, okay, so normally, right after we go to the washroom, after you wash hands, uh, when you use mostly it's like uh, all the, uh, you know, the hand, hand, conventional hand dryers, uh, hot hand dryers, which is, uh, doesn't work properly, right? Uh, and the conceal of energy, uh, it does cost we use uh, this heater to, to vaporize water. Okay, so um, by using that, uh, by using heat to vaporize water, it takes a very long time to dry up. So uh, yes, it will it will you know waste a lot of energy, you know, uh, because uh, add additional the uh, the motor itself is not energy efficient enough. And secondly, uh, so that's why uh, most of uh, people they will prefer use the paper towels. So when it comes to paper towels that, uh, you know, they will cut down a lot of trees, it's not green as well. Uh, and uh, the tan, there will be a lot of, um, uh, they say, uh, landfills, you know, create a lot of uh, CO2, right? So uh, what's the best solutions to uh, reduce all these um, landfills and also reduce the, the carbon footprint in, in our uh, earth environment? So by using a more uh, effective and uh, energy efficient uh, drying method, which is uh, where we comes in, all right? Uh, okay, let me uh, introduce to you to uh, Dyson's uh, story by um, playing this video to you, okay? We are experimenting with something called air blade technology. But if you pivot on a ball, I look at things and wonder if they could be made better and start thinking about how they are made. I mean, that's what interests me. Okay, as you can see, uh, that's our founder, so James Dyson. So, basically, uh, still travel around the world, you know, uh, do some a lot of product introductions, you know, especially in Japan uh, and UK. Okay. So, what's the... Uh, <clears throat> So as you know, Dyson, they always find uh, solutions, you know, for all those uh, products which doesn't work. So first, the uh, vacuum cleaners, uh, second would be the fan, you know, and third, uh, our, the hand dryers, okay. Because the conventional hand dryer has been, uh, the technology has been like that for like 60 years, it's like very outdated, does not uh, dry up effectively, okay. So uh, one day, uh, so James said, they have an idea. I want to get a uh, you know a create a better hand dryer for everyone to use to experience. Okay, so um, so that's where they uh, created a uh, sorry. Uh, this way he created this 
the uh, Dyson Airblade um, DB, right? So Airblade DB, uh, actually this is the fourth generation of this um, hand dryer. So DB uh, basically stands for decibel. So this is the latest model where they uh, they created they where they reduced the noise level by about fifty percent. So um, so basically all our hand dryers uh, they are using uh, pressurized air to scrape away the water to dry your hand. That's even more faster than you know those uh, using heater to dry up your hand. Okay, so. Uh, for this machine, um, they, they use only 10 seconds to dry up. So basically, when you put your head inside, they will create a tissue of air, a pressurized air, traveling about 700 kilometer per hour to push away the water, right? So not only that, uh, and uh, in Airblick technology, they consist of other uh, features like the HEPA filter, uh, as well as the uh, our Dyson Digital Motor, all right? So talk about the motor, okay, this is the uh, world's smallest 1,600 watt motor, sorry. So it's a DC motor, uh, a DC brushless motor, and uh, and it's built for energy efficiency. They use uh, this um, uh, spring mounting, uh, hammock silencers, and acoustic padding slot to, to create all this. Uh, basically, uh, reduce less carbon as compared to uh, other brushless motor in the market, all right. So, uh, what about HEPA filters? So, um, our hand dryer not only dries up your hand fast, and also the only hygienic hand dryer in the market. Okay, well, why it is hygienic is because of the uh, the filter we use. Sorry, so this HEPA filter they can filter um, you know bacteria in the air up to ninety nine point nine percent. So basically, the air is the air is coming out is all clean air. It dries up so be uh, less contamination on your hand. You know, as compared to use those. Uh, other type hand dryer doesn't use HEPA filter, they will blow back also dirty hair onto your hand. Right? So so we see that. So we so the engineers try to use the best way to solve this um, problem. So by using HEPA filters. So um, so this is a few um, pros uh, that uh, by using um, our Dyson Airblade hand dryer. So drives are fast, you know, it's safe, uh, has a, a less cost to run, you know and it reduce the carbon footprint. So, uh, not only this, uh, so with this Airblade technology, we also created uh, two more um, hand dryers, okay, uh, which is, we just launched it uh, last year, uh, and we call it um, Dyson Airblade V. So, this particular model is more, uh, Concentrated, you know, use all this technology, the Airblade technology, they put into one small hand dryer, okay, which is uh, uh, about 60% smaller than the previous model. So uh, let me show this video. We had our new Dyson digital motor, and the aim was to create the smallest, fastest hand dryer we could. The diameter of the motor is only 85 mil, so we set ourselves the target of constraining the whole product to be packaged in with 100 mil depth itself. When the sensors activate, that turns the motor on, which starts to draw air through the product. As the air is drawn up, it then passes through our HEPA filters and then feeds the air through silences into a duct, which distributes the air evenly at a high pressure before it exits out the slot at 400 miles per hour to scrape, literally scrape the water from your hands. So our first prototype, we wanted to create a new drying technique. So we tried out multiple iterations of what actually is comfortable for this angle. So the angle of the V shape is set at 115 degrees. It creates a comfortable drying position for your hands to be in when your hands are faced both palm up and palm down. The challenge was to create a motor bucket that was small but also didn't resonate sound. So a lot of clever and detailed engineering went into this with having rubber support mounts to suspend the motor therefore reducing vibration and noise frequency that's transferred through the product itself. The loudest noise that you actually hear is the air exiting from the slot. We've moulded the fascia as one complete unit, therefore eliminating any chance for grime and bacteria to build up in any of the nooks or crannies or joins between different parts. We needed to ensure that it would be safe and always stay on the wall. Well, it goes through loads of abuse scenarios, so to simulate it being kicked or attempted to be pulled from the wall, uh, cycling it off and on, off and on for 500,000 cycles. Because we want confidence that even after five years in the field, that it can still deliver a 10 second dry time. So, so this, they, uh, as I say, 
they so uh, it's a concentrated Ablet technology put into one, okay, it's to um, to cater this because since it's so small, this handwriting so you can you know we like this uh, this model to cater for those like compact washrooms lah, all right. So uh, it still have the same um, features and effectiveness as compared to the previous model, and still it dries up in, in ten seconds. But of course, they are using it a bit different, where you know you have to dry your hand below the machine because they also use air to scrape water instead of heater. Okay. So you see, it's about sixty percent smaller than the uh, the DB model. Okay. All right, so you still sh share the same uh, benefits as the previous model, as I mentioned, you know, dries up 10 seconds, you know, they have still have the uh, HEPA filters, so improved acoustics, uh, have also have a sleep profile and easy to clean, uh, all right. So, um, so besides this, so this is uh, also another model that we launched last year, we called it um, Ablet Tab. So basically it's a tab with hand dryers together, it's two in one, you know, so it makes it more convenient for you. It was like wash and dry side by hand at the basin, so there'll be no water dripping all over the floor, all right? So this is the hand dryer which can solve uh, a lot of uh, issues of uh, water dripping. Okay, so, uh, so normally, a lot of drips on the floor because that you have to move across the walkway to get the uh, the paper towel. So we're dripping everywhere. So by using the airbag, can you know everything's done at the basin. So you can solve uh, save you a lot of time and energy. Okay, uh, let me give you a, a case study that we made in uh, in Iceland airport, Kavlik. Uh, All right. So uh, this is the live um, feedback from the users, you know, in the airport. Kepler Airport is, we say, is, is the link between the continents, the US and Europe. So it's really, really peaked in, in certain times of the day. So we, we need to have a high quality of service. This is always a difficulty in an airport like this because you have these peaks. Lots of people are coming in at the same time. It might have 14 flights on the same hour, maybe uh, 1,500 to 2,000 passengers. So it's so heavily packed during this one hour and therefore we need to reorganize everything to get more space. We designed a big washroom facility in the basement. The purpose there was to try to really make them functional and elegant. And we wanted everything to be very hygienic, user-friendly. The usual conventional old-fashioned dryers, they take a lot of time, you know, to dry your hands and they even do a bad job at it, so. What we were looking at is, of course, uh, that we didn't see any water and, and, and paper towels on the floor, because uh, during the traffic, it has an uh, impact of the, of the passengers. We, of course, looked at the company Dyson, and there we stumbled upon their newest product, which is this tap, with, which is both a tap and a hand dryer at the same time. We said, this is it. This is exactly what we're looking for. And we took a look at it. We got one and tested it. We asked some passengers what they think of it, and they were quite keen to try it. I've never seen anything like them before. I thought they were pretty cool. Unbelievable. Quick, different. I think they're great. They work well. They're clean. They're sanitary. Very good. I think they're really great. It really goes well with the, the whole design. The washrooms look very nice, and they're exactly what I hoped for. And after a rush hour, we can see that it looks nicer, it's better, and people actually like it. They want to try it. I mean, you're not dripping wet stuff all over the bathroom. It's just right there. So people actually actually can move behind people when they're washing their hands. They don't need to go over here and get the paper. We work, of course, with engineers. They do all the plumbing and electricity, but we have to find the best solution, you know, where, where to put the pipes. That all costs money. Everything is wall mounted and you can really open the wall if you have to fix something. It, it's, everything is really inside that wall. We wanted to keep it that way. You know, it kind of looked like an airplane, so that was cool. Amazing, they were amazing. You, you come away knowing your hands are clean and you know your hands are dry and it's marvelous. That blew me away. There was a woman earlier who went down just to take pictures. pictures of the bathroom. Probably the cleanest bathroom I've ever been in, even in someone's home. 
from the west coast of California. <laughs> it's the cleanest place I've been in. <laughs> so this is feedback of uh, live users. So, so I guess everyone, everyone is happy they're using it. So, um, okay. So for um, this tab, so they still use the, the same tab where they, uh, but they have a sorry, like a motor bucket mounted below the basin, so they, they to push all the air uh, and the uh, the water into the tap. Uh, I don't have the slides to show you, but if you're interested, you can drop by to our booth. You know, uh, I can show you the live demo later. So uh, yeah, overall, so um, recently we did a. Uh, Actually, uh, we did supply this tablet tab to um, the F1 in Singapore. They take uh, approximately about, uh, about 150 sets of tablet tabs uh, to bought it for all those users, you know, for the F1 drivers, all the visitors, you know. Uh, I would say uh, this would be uh, uh, a future hand dryer you're gonna see in everywhere because it's so effective and also you know also energy efficient. Um, yeah, so like to uh, wrap things up, you know. And if you have any question, uh, feel free to drop by our booth at Hall Two C zero sixty three. Oh, well, there'll be a lot of uh, those machines are direct for you to try as well. So. Thank you very much, everyone.